Good morning, good morning. Hi everyone, Amanda Hartman here for Assistive Wear, coming in live on Facebook so that we can share a book, some AAC, and always some fun. So I'm going to get my video up here on my side device, so that way, as we go along today, I can see your comments and respond. I'd love to invite you to participate by typing comments on the video. So here we go, I've got the video, I'll make sure it's all turned down, and I'll turn on your column. So I am coming into you live from Australia, um, yeah, so, so I'd love, I'd love to see where you're coming from today. So I'm just getting everything sorted out here. Hopefully you can all see me, I'm not chopping off the top of my head, <laughs> and we're going to read a bear bear. Hmm, that sounds a little bit different. different today. Now I am, hopefully, can I see your comments coming in? I might just switch devices. That's a bit of a trick today. Oh, some friends are coming in from Australia. We've got our friend Claudia. This device is not working, not showing me your comments today. So we'll be flexible and I will go onto my other device. Sorry about that everyone, I like to, part of the First Book Live is about our interaction, our back and forth, so that um, you get to talk to me and I get to talk to you, so when you have questions, we can um, face them, so let's, uh, let me just organise everything here, thank you, tech difficulties, never a problem. <laughs> so we've got some friends from Australia joining us today, some friends, our friend Julia, the US, Chile. All over the world. Okay, now I can see your comments and we are all sorted. So I'll put this over to the side so we've still got room. Thank you everyone. Hi Ian, all the way from Connecticut. Thank you for always, always joining. We've been doing these Facebook Lives for a little while now um, and we always have some of our same friends joining, which is always very nice. Today is a bit of a different book. It's a book called A Bear Bear. Bear Bear. Oh! I need a word from my pink tab here. I think we're going to, hmm, where's the word that I think? I think we're going to hear, hear some of the words today and we're gonna hear that some of the words might sound, same. sound the same, strange, but really, do you know what? They kind of mean, mean different. different things. So we're gonna play with some interesting words. Hmm, that should be very interesting. So they sound the same. Same. But they mean something different. <laughs> That's interesting. That's what we're going to do. And to help me tell the story today, I'm going to use multimodal communication. And multimodal communication just means I'm not only going to use Proloquo on my iPad, I'm also going to point to my board at the back. I'm going to point to letters if I need them. I'm going to use my facial expression, my body language. I wonder, can you think of what are some of the ways that we all communicate? Not just for those people that use AAC, because we're all multimodal communicators, right? Drop them into the comments now. I want to hear about all the wonderful ways that you communicate. Yes, we all, we all do. Yes, um, Evan is a multimodal communicator. Hi, Evan. Waving. <laughs> gesture. Evan's been learning to use emojis. Smiley face. <laughs> Fantastic. Definitely gesture. So I'm going to be using some gestures to help me tell the story today for sure. So let me see if I can just move this across a bit here. Okay. Oh, sounds. Julia uses happy, grumpy or exhausted sounds. That's definitely a way to communicate. So how we, how we, what sounds we make. Thank you. Anyone else? Oh, hi team from Mensal College, thanks for joining today. Okay, so let's think, you keep dropping in, oh, texting emoji and using, do you know, our friend Evan uses photos and videos to communicate. I think we all do that, Evan. That's a great one. I'm gonna clear this and go home so we're all set. Keyword sign, good work. Yes, I agree. I am in Australia, so I use keyword sign that uses Auslan. So some of the signs I use might, might look a little bit different to the ones that you know. 
um, but yes so that's we use because I'm in Australia maybe they look different to you because we're from all over the world which is just wonderful okay should we get started yeah. yes let's get started a bear bear and some verbal words yes we still use mouth words there's all different ways to communicate and you know what we should listen to them all listen to all the different ways that we communicate and also help support different ways to communicate it's really important like Evan that he can show photos to tell his story that plus AAC makes communication even better okay Gemma's son uses YouTube videos <laughs> That's amazing and adapted Irish sign language. Thank you for sharing. That's awesome. Thank you everybody for telling your stories. Now, as I said, we're looking at today, we're going to find words that sound the same, same. but they mean different. something different. <laughs> and we're going to see how we can make some sentences with them. So we're going to start with, oh, I know what I can see here. Hmm, look at this. Look, 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 what can see. we see? I can see something that is a food. It's a fruit. It's pear. 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 One pear. And then two pears. pears. <gasps> two pears. Ah, so it says the lonely pear makes a pear ah oh, i see how that is do you know what if i go here to my number page my maths page and my numbers oh i've got all my numbers in prolo that's good one one pair and when we have two two a different word that means two is a it's in my related words pair one pair a pair of pears. <laughs> that sounds so funny, doesn't it? It sounds so strange. Because do you know what? Pear and pear. <laughs> they sound the same, but they mean something different. And that's what this book is all about. Is that strange? Not sure. <laughs> Are you all out there? <laughs> Let's see if we can find another one. Oh, I like this one. The little fly, here he is, bzz, 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 loves to fly. Oh, see? A flying fly. Bzz, 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 bzz. Here he goes, he's flying here, he's flying there, he's flying there. He likes to, oh, hang on, he likes to go, go everywhere. He likes to fly. Fly is a related word for go. Go! Yum. And it's the fly that's doing it. We'll have to think of some other things that fly later. We will. I wonder, can you see where he's flying? He's flying to the Eiffel Tower, to the Sydney Opera House, to the pyramids. Where would you like to fly? I'm asking a question. Where, when? Oh, not when, sorry. Where when? would you, you like to to, to go. go. Where would you like to fly? fly? Where you like to fly? Where would you like to fly? Put it in the comments window. There's some cool places here. A beach. I wonder what beach that is. Maybe it's Hawaii. <laughs> Anybody got a place they want to fly to? Like the fly, the flying fly? Oh, that's the same word but it has a different meaning. A different Do you meaning. Think? Somewhere warmer than New England. <laughs> Julia wants to go. Go. Maybe fly, fly. Somewhere. And you know what? I think I need to. I don't know where, where my weather words live in. Oh, maybe it's a describing word. Somewhere that's kind of hot, hot, not just oh hot, but warm. warm. Wants to go somewhere where it's warm. <laughs> Old Katiska wants to go to Australia. That's a long way to fly. You have to go, go. flying. Fly. It's a big, big trip to Australia. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Now we're not going to do all the pages today, but look at this. 
A tall duck, quack, 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 has to duck. Oh, duck. <laughs> oh, Annabelle wants to go to Chirumba Zoo. Gonna fly there? Maybe you can just drive there, Annabelle. But look, I've changed. It's a tall duck. There he is in the story. Duck, duck, duck. He has to. Oh, I'm gonna do the action for it. Duck. <laughs> because the tall duck, he is, let me go home. He is up. up tall and I need a green word. He needs to duck down. Down, so he's lower. lower. And that's a different meaning for the word duck. Maybe you know about a duck that goes quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I was going to write the sentence, I could write it, let's see, <laughs> the, I need a describing word to describe, he's not only long or short, short, he, oh not short, I used the wrong describing word, I just don't know where tall is, I'm still learning where things are in proloquo, anyway, we won't worry about it, I'm going to go straight on to the animal, it's a type of bird, so it's a duck. Duck. The duck. The duck Go. goes down. I am still learning where everything is in here. Down. The duck goes down. Ah. There. So, yes, our friend Janice is searching for <laughs> books like this. These are homonyms and homophones. Those are the official kind of book that the, this, this book is demonstrating. <laughs> it's quite interesting how many there are. That's right. Oh, look, it's a deer. And oh no, have a look. The deer fell down. Oh, down, down, down. down. And look what he said. He's got some speech bubbles here. I need to use an exclamation on here. He said, oh. <laughs> oh dear! Thank you, Julia, helping me find the place. The oh dear says the dear. Oh dear. Um, pink word. Say. Says, says the. the. It's an animal. It's a mammal. I think it's on the next page. Deer. Deer. Oh, says the deer. Oh, dear, says the deer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I like this page. Have a look at this guy here. The glump, the glump, the glump. Uh huh. This animal, so this animal, you know what? He is, we still need animals, so we can go back into animals, but we need a reptile because he's a toad. A toad. Listen to that word. Toad. I wonder. And he's a... Hang on a minute. My toad, he is oh. on a tow truck. He's on a vehicle. He's on a truck, truck. that tows. A tow truck. I didn't check if I had a tow truck on there. A tow truck. My goodness. So the word... Oh, he likes to be pulled or towed. Let's let's write it. Let's write it. I've got it. I've got it. Because again, my animal. Well, let me put my toad, toad. up because I like to hear how it sounds. The toad go home likes, likes to, to is. He need we need a, a form of is. He likes to be be. I need a pink word and more. Pull. Pull. Ah, pull and toe, that's right. You found it. Toe. toe. He likes, and then I had to use a related word first to find toe, which it means the same thing as pull. And then I'm going to use my grammar to say toad. Toad. Let's listen to how this sentence sounds. Toad likes to be toad. Toad. Robert, Robert, Robert. Likes to be toad. Pulled along. That's so funny. My goodness. Okay. So, oh, I like this one too. Look at this. Two types of knights. 
a night in shining armor <gasps> and night time when it's dark. So let's write a sentence. <laughs> the, I've got some character words, right? Bing, bing. And I'm sure I have a knight there. Knight. There's the knight. I see him. And he is in, in. The, the, let me find a time word. Night. Night in the night? <laughs> the night in the night. The night in the night. Those words, they sound so funny because they sound the same. But when I look at the letters, yeah, when I look at the letters, they're different. Different in how we spell them. There was, a, oh, one of our friends came up with a sentence. There was a night last night at the ball. <gasps> nice. Isn't the English language so silly and strange? Okay, let's see. I had to do the cat page. I had to, because I have something to say. I don't know about you, but I, I like, I like, in fact, I don't just like, uh, no, I do like, I like, um, what am I trying to say? I like animals. I like cats. Cat. I like cats. cats. I like cats. What's your favorite animal? <clears throat> do you like cats too? Or dogs? Or monkeys? Tell us. And then I'm going to tell you something that happens for these cats because it's very funny. <laughs> so um, Janice is sharing. Hi, Ian. Thank you. Jan Ian is sharing his book and finding his words in Proloquo to go. I'm using Proloquo today, but you can find the words in your whatever AAC you're using out there. So that's fantastic. And, oh, we have some friends who, who have their favourite dogs. Annabelle's favourite animal is seals. Dorothy the dinosaur. <laughs> we all have different animals. Chickens. <laughs> Cats and dinosaurs. No, it wasn't Dorothy the dinosaur. I didn't read it properly. Sorry. Cats and dinosaurs and chickens, but chickens are secretly dinosaurs. <laughs> Thank you. And excellent. Oh, so our friend has two cats, Mr. Darcy and Chloe. And Evan likes chickens and cheetah li and Olivia likes cheetahs. Isn't it good? How isn't it interesting that we all like, like different we all like different things? But let's get back to the book. Let's see what these cats do. Because it says, let me write a sentence. The, let me get the cat back up into my message window. Cat. The cat, and you know what? It uses an interesting word. It says the cat's paws. So I'll do a pause face. Pause. That means that we kind of stop and wait, wait, doesn't it? So it says the cat wait, but if I use a related word, now I can get the word pause. The cat paws. The cat's paws. Oh, I didn't quite get it right. The cat's paws. I wonder why, why are they, why did they pause <laughs> to lick their paws? <laughs> to, Chew. now I'm going to use search to find lick because I did not look that word up. Lick. Oh, there it, oh, it's part of something that we do with our body. It's an action we do with our body. That is very true. It is. I'm using the search button and where did I lose it? Where did it go? Oh, there it was. Lick. Lick. The cat's paws to lick there. More. Now maybe if I go into bodies again, I can find animal body parts and there it is. Paw. The paw. Paws. Paws and paws. <laughs> oh, thank you. Somebody found it quicker than me. It was their paws. Stop to lick their paws. Let's listen to that. paws to lick paws. I didn't. I didn't allow enough wait time for AAC to say it. Sorry, everyone. The cat paws to lick paws. The cat's paws. Stop. Do, do, pause. Okay. And then I think. I think there's so many pages in this book. We cannot do them all. Let's see. Aha. A greedy moose. Loves to eat. Oh, can you guess now what it could be? 
Maybe it's a word that sounds the same as moose, but means something different. The greedy moose loves chocolate. What is it? Do you have it on your AAC? Chocolate moose. Ah, oh, Evan and Olivia found it. Or pudding. Yum. Yes, it means the same. So maybe we could find, I don't know where, where chocolate mousse is. I should have, I did look up a lot of these words when I was planning. Sometimes, oh here it is, it is, I've got it. So I just need to go back to my food folder and it's with all my sweet things and it's like a custard, oh, it's like a mousse. It's a, it says it's a pudding. pudding. It's a mousse. mousse. It was right there. Custard. Custard, a type mousse. of mousse. And now it's gone. Custard. Custard. Mousse. Mousse. There it is. Oh my goodness. You have yours in the dessert button quicker than me and delicious. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. It's like pudding. That's correct. So the mousse likes mousse. Okay. And then the last one, which was the title of it, was And the Bear is Bear. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to describe him. It looks like in this picture, the first picture of the bear, that he has his clothes on. on. And then in this picture of the bear, he has his clothes off. off. He's bear. Ooh. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so do you know what? I forgot to share with you our schedule. Usually I share a schedule of what we do in our Facebook lives. So let me just see. I've got a little folder here. So we have now we have read the book. We read the book. We did it already. And hi Abe. Nice to see you. And then we're going to write a, list. write a list. So over here, I want to see an undressed bear. Yes, I'm gonna. We're gonna see whether we can think of other words that sound the same but different. And then we're gonna see. Fly. I had this idea about thinking about finding some things that could fly. I think I was inspired by the fly in the book. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I wonder. I wonder. I'm just gonna pause. Does anybody have a question for me? Any questions out there? Okay, well now it's time for us. What we have to do is we're going to say some words and well, we're going to not just say, actually, we're going to think of some words and I've got my letters up here to help me and I am going to put them on my board here, okay? Put them on the board. Ah, hang on a minute. I, I need to get my pen. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm ready. So, so yes, you can ask questions or we can start because our, my idea was for us to write down some of those interesting words that we found today. Remember, we said that they were different. They, they meant something different, but they sounded the same. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go with the first one, which was the first one because it was the title of the book. <gasps> a I'm going to put two B's there because the words start with the same letter B. B, 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 all the way back there, sorry. So a bear, and he was bear. So some of the letters are the same, but then some of them are different. Hmm, a bear, bear. A bear, bear. Yes, thanks. Isabel just shared the link. This is, I printed out, I printed out the poster here um, from the download. So Isabel has shared the download file for the Proloquo board and then I took it to my local print shop and he printed it out for me. And mine is on Velcro, whoop, so that I can turn it over and I can, oh, hey look, I needed the letter B. So I've got Velcro strips on it, on my wall, so, and it's made from this light cardboard. So that's pretty cool. Put it back up. We're going to run out of time soon, I think. Anyway, let's see. Oh, my laptop's going to run out of battery. 
all the technical things. So does anybody have any words here for me today to add on to our list? Hmm, do another line. There, actually, do you know what? There's a word on my board that I wanted to share. It wasn't in the book, but it was this word here because we use it a lot. It's a green word. Two. Two. Oh, you and you. Yes, thank you, Julia. I was thinking two, and it goes with the number two. Yeah? They mean different things, but they sound the same. So that's the, the same thing. So I'm going to put mine on, and then I'm going to do you and you. So I'm going to go two and number two, or I can write the word for it too, two and two. And Julia thought of a new one as well. You, there it is, you, you, and then E-W-E. -E. Oh, E-W-E, -E. that's a strange spelling word. A U, hmm, maybe I should look it up on Perla Quo so we can see a picture of what a U is. Because I think I know it might help us. It's an animal. It's a mammal. It's a sheep. Sheep. <gasps> see, there's the word there. You. You. The you is a sheep. sheep. Ha ha. Fantastic. Oh, and we did need a different kind of two as well. T double O, like too hot or too cold, depending where you live in the world. Thank you very much. There's actually lots of these kinds of words in the English language when you think about them. My favourite one in the book was fly and fly. Now, this is strange because actually those words, when I look at them, they look the same. So this is the fly, like the bug. So I'm gonna, maybe I'll draw a picture. And this is the action of flying. Hmm. But when I look at them, the same letters, fly. English is a strange thing. Okay, so quickly, 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 because I've just got this back and I had just one last idea. They spell the same, that's exactly right. Strange, I just had one thing in here. I've got, I've got this bag, I've got this bag here. I've got a piece of paper I'm going to see if I can, I need a pink word, I wonder to see if I can make, make something to fly, and I've got a bug fly, right and right, yes, it is very confusing. Books like this help us though, I've got a, a butterfly that will fly and a fly, we're going to test them, but first of all I'm going to make, make. I'm going to make something with a piece of paper. So Evan... And Olivia, have you got some paper? You get some paper so you can make a paper plane, or anybody can. Ian, you're gonna get some pieces of paper. I'm gonna fold, fold here. And then we'll see whether Miss Amanda, we're gonna ask the question. Ooh, let me go home. I need a pink word because I want to say, will, will it, it go? go? Will it fly? fly. Will it fly? Will it fly? Oh. You guys now are thinking of lots and lots and lots of different homonyms and homophones, they're called. But I'm busy, I've moved on. Okay, because we're going to finish today to see which one will fly. Will the fly fly or will the paper plane fly? I wonder which one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. A fly? Will my fly fly? Or will my paper plane fly? I wonder. All right. So on the count of three. Will it fly? We're going to say go. go. Clear that. Go. We're going to say go. Ready? The plain plane. <laughs> ah, it is a very plain plane, isn't it? <laughs> I need a, I need to decorate it so it's fancy. Okay, Annabelle's made a guess. She thinks the plane, plainly. <laughs> okay, you guys are making me laugh today. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, you ready? So we'll try the fly first. Okay, let's see if he flies. Ready? Oh, no. 
He did not, not go. go. He did not, not go. Fly. fly. He did not go. go not go. Not fly. He did not fly. It's a fly, but it did not fly. It's not real. Okay, let's try the plane. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go! Swish. Okay, I'll take that as fly. Back here. It's a, it's, a, it's a floaty fly. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. yes. It was flying. Fly. It flew. flew. We did it. <laughs> it was better than the fly anyway. Oh, and just like that, I need to check the time because the time, time. says it's 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. here for me in Australia and that means that we have to finish. Finished. We, finished. we have to be finished with everything. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, it's been great. Now, come back and join us same time at the beginning of every month. We try and do the first Wednesday, Thursday of every month, depending how we go. But just check us out on socials to find more information. And we'll be into April, which is always a big month. Ah, 4.30, depending where you are. So, um, yeah, any questions, email our support team, our wonderful thank you. There's a few support team members out there today. So thank you, Isabel and Shannon, for helping, but others that dropped by as well. Thank you. Get off ready to school. Nice to see you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. See you later.